Good morning, guys. I'm back. I'm doing a video regarding a uh, orchid that has bloomed for the first time. And I uh, just want to show you, um, I just uh, um, f uh, watered the plants uh, with my sprayer. And uh, yeah, everything's looking good right now. Everything's so green. Uh, I'm having a lot of flowers bloom and rebloom. So that's a good uh, news. Like this one here, my Datsonii, I, I uh, it bloomed for me, but uh, I cut off a keiki uh, and that's this one and since then it never bloomed until now and both bloomed actually um, this one is a spent one or it's about to uh, this spike is about to open so really great but the, the orchid I want to talk about is this one here and it's my Arangus uh, Mistacidii I'm not sure if again if I'm pronouncing it correctly uh, but uh, that is the orchid and you can see the spike there um, it's sideways so I will remove it from the uh, from its mount but I want to show you guys where it is uh, it's on the top part of my grow temp and uh, temperature right now is uh, 73 Fahrenheit 83% humidity because uh, I just flat, uh, just watered the, the plants um, so yeah let me uh, take it off it uh, spot here and then um, we'll talk more about it so uh, yeah, just pulled it off from that uh, area and uh, place it here where it's easier to take a video and talk about it. Uh, and again, this is the Arangus uh, Mistacidii. I got it on March 10th of last year um, from Orchids uh, by Hauserman. And uh, so I'll show you a picture of uh, when I receive it. It's on the same mount. Um, I added more uh, long fiber sphagnum moss uh, on the mount because uh, I fear that it will dry up uh, quickly without it um, but you can see here there's a lot of root growth not really leaf growth but I did have some but uh, so far I haven't had any new leaf growth but I guess it spent most of its energy on the spike uh, before we uh, check the flower um, I'll just uh, give you a bit of uh, how I take care of it um, but first from what I know it's in Africa just like the rest of the Orangus, uh, Mozambique, uh, Zimbabwe from what I've read and uh, there's a YouTuber uh, I forgot but I, I think it's based in the UK he talked about um, he talked about it being uh, in, in, in the wild uh, it is found uh, on deciduous trees close to where a stream of waterfalls are so they get a lot of moisture high humidity and then come winter time uh, or a cold season uh, the trees are deciduous so they lose their leaves and it is exposed uh, to a bright light although again a cooler temperature and uh, I, I never read about it uh, the, it being deciduous so it's just where it's where the trees it lives on are deciduous and uh, in my case I uh, I water this during the growing season every other day so my schedule is Tuesday Thursday and Saturdays and another on Sundays just like today it's a Sunday and then uh, during winter I I, I, I do water it mm, not much though uh, maybe once or twice a week I just want to make sure it doesn't uh, dry out uh, but it's the first uh, first winter I've had it I guess what I'll do uh, this coming winter is I'll do it maybe once a week so uh, we'll see um, I think uh, my, my, my main fear back uh, last winter was it might uh, not uh, tolerate uh, the the less watering and uh, I might kill it and since it's a new one in my collection I don't want to uh, l l lose it so but I think now I have more of an idea how it grows it's a pretty easy grow plant to grow uh, online a lot of people talk about uh, how easy it is to grow um, from the nurseries they, that description is again easy to grow and what's exciting about this plant is as it gets bigger I um, mean it, it comes in a small package it's a, a miniature anyways and uh, but uh, the show the number of flowers it produces is is really it's really uh, nice to see um, and uh, yeah so I, I fertilize uh, during the growing system season every 15th and 30th of the month with uh, one fourth strength of maxi uh, it's a foliar spray and yeah so let, let me uh, reposition this so we can uh, check the flower right, so I uh, placed the um, 
uh, the the wood the mount uh, sideways and here's the flower and I'm just gonna do a, a bit of a close-up here and the way it's described uh, in the internet um, it has uh, creamy white flowers uh, that has that crystalline sheen on it and I'm not sure if, if it can be caught in the camera but you can see like there's a, a shimmer there um, and that's really nice and plus that uh, uh, tan coloration uh, on the tips of the spur and uh, one of this is one of the first orchids in my wish list when I saw this in Andy's orchids website uh, the way uh, it was described uh, like uh, re re like resembling a, a bird in flight and ever since I've been researching Arangus and uh, Hauserman uh, orchids have uh, several species available so that's where I purchased them I think they are kind of uh, in demand uh, especially I think in Andy's Orchids website uh, since uh, uh, they, they specialize in miniatures so I think people always uh, on the on watching for them to get available and they get uh, out of stock real quick um, they say it has a, uh, a slight fragrance at night and I will check later um, but I tried to smell it uh, earlier and there's a slight uh, nice fragrance um, but yeah and the spur is really nice now this one ain't forming really well and this one it's taking a while I, I ever since I uh, arrived from the Philippines in June uh, I've seen the spike already and I feel like uh, it got stressed out because again I did uh, uh, decrease the like the hours of the of the of when the LED lights are turned on and just to make sure that the plant survive I made a video about what I did um, before I left so uh, in the grow tent so that the plants uh, will will get through the three week vacation I had and I think this one got stressed out and kind of well not kind of uh, it it did have mess up the formation of the spike or the blooms but overall, uh, I'm happy because it's still bloomed for me. And uh, all, all, so far, all of my Arangus uh, orchids have bloomed except for the punctata. Um, but yeah, this one is really looking nice. Um, you can see the petals, the sepal here. The column has that yellowish tinge there. And yeah, can't wait for uh, this orchid to, you know, uh, get bigger and eventually uh, look like one of those uh, orchids online that I see that with multiple growth and multiple spikes and like just a lot for the, for its size it produces a lot of spikes again uh, for the mature and established uh, specimens so yeah, another close-up before I let you guys go and uh, yeah really really nice I'm happy uh, again uh, this uh, summer my second year, uh, we, also my second year with a grow tent, um, uh, with a hobby, uh, things are looking well um, with my collection. So, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, any suggestions, any um, tips uh, regarding these orchids, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, please hit like and subscribe, and have a good one.